All right, guys, welcome back to All the Mod 7 Dudes. We've got some fun stuff planned today. I've got some weird eyes going on, just the way my skin is. But look, it's all gone because if you look up there, bam, our mega base is coming along really good. I went ahead and mirrored that that one side and this on, on all, all four sides. So, yeah, that is moving. I went ahead and uh, moved all of this stuff here. Um, it's not really anywhere. It's all the stuff is right here so yeah um and then you guys had mentioned that this was completely wrong as i assumed um do we need a vibranium b and then we need a all the modium b and i think we uh, breed those together and that's what happens and then for the vibranium b i believe we need ancient b and a draconic b i might be mistaken but we might try that today but we've got some pretty big stuff that we got to do up there today that we're going to be focusing on. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a storage bus from Applied Energistics 2. The VR. Oops. We need an ME interface. Oh, no. We need faces. All around me are familiar faces. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and probably use uh, all of these. Okay. We'll just get three for now. Um, now let's go ahead and do this. Emmy storage bus. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to need to make a storage. Uh, we need a drawer controller. I'm saying storage controller. I feel dumb. Um, do we have any drawers available or do I use those all? Can we use a compacting drawer? No. Okay, we're gonna grab the compacting drawers. We're gonna grab some of these. And we're gonna need to make a few drawers here. That's fine. All right, drawer controller. Um, let's go ahead and make two if we can. No, we can make two. Perfect. Okay, and then I also got some of these going, the warped stems. Yes, we have these in the botany pots. Um, and I wanted to see how these looked for drawers. Because I think these would look really cool. And I think I was right. Just kidding. We gotta, we gotta look at them first. Okay, um, so we got over a stack of them. Yes, but I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know what's which. Our controller, we got the storage bus. We're gonna need some uh, some cable as well. Okay, there we go. Now we convert it into the dense cable. Like this. Turn it into a smart cable. And then we will die. <laughs> we died. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do blue for. The okay, let's go on, my, on up to our base. All right, so. Okay, so I know we made a few, um, of the the big big boy cables. Um, yeah, we're not gonna. We need a lot more. Um, because yeah, we could have only got to here with all of those cables. So I need to go ahead and set up a system to go ahead and make those. But in the meantime, we will just bring this over. This is where those cables will run. And we're gonna run these over and hopefully um, this will be okay. So my intention, my plan is we're going to go ahead and put the compacting drawers down at the bottom on each side. And then above we will have these guys and so that's what the walls will look like i think that actually looks okay um which is what it's okay just okay so compacting drawers i might switch so something like this and the the oh the cool thing is is that we can go ahead i oh, freak. <laughs> i didn't think about that all the way through i did bring two drawer controllers uh these guys we'll just put them like this this will go ahead and unify the whole area. And sorry if you guys hear that, I live by a Air Force base and it's kind of loud. So all we gotta do is just bring 
this up here and connect it in. Beautiful. Okay. So we have one, so we can do two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we need to get rid of this row here. So these only allow eight channels to go through. Now I know a lot of people don't like AE because of that, how it has limited channels, but it's it's not that big of a deal. Just, let's be honest, it's really cool. Okay, so there we go. Those are all connected now to our system. If we could stop lagging, that would be so great. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out majority of these and we're gonna throw them in here. Yep, they are lighting up, perfect, okay. All right, and here's the final ones. All right, those are all in, lit up. And if we look here, yep, we still have access to all of our items, perfection. Okay, so we can kind of get rid of this stuff from our inventory. And we can go ahead and start moving some of the bees into the compacting machines. Okay, so we are up here now, and which one of these guys, it was the closer one, okay. So this is the one, we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, no. We're gonna need to put some nuggets in it, perfect, okay. And then, oh, we forgot, I forgot iron. We need to get iron as well, because uh, I want these guys kind of grouped together. We did bring iron. We did bring redstone, so we can do that. Um, nope, nope, um, yep, there we go, it's interesting, okay, so we're probably gonna need to do iron nuggets as well, and then we'll put those in, okay, so those will all get locked in there, oh, those, that's a quantity key, that's good, like, I need to do that anyway, I don't have the locking key, that's okay, um, but we do have to go around to the back, and we click here. Yeah, and it figures out what's here. We need to put some expansion cards on our capacity cards on this so that we can add more. It'll, it'll have all of these in here so it recognizes where these go. We're also gonna go ahead and up the priority of this, uh, which is here. We'll do a thousand for that. So it knows as soon as that goes into the system, it needs to be put into there, perfect. All right, and then actually we need to make an Emmy import. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of do it over here for now. Um, I also need to get some anchors in there so that it's good. Okay, so that's gonna go there. I need, do I have any diamonds? In yes, there we go. Now it's set to me. So Emmy import bus. Yep, that connects. Um, we also, do we have any of the anchors? Ink jaws. Okay, got a few anchors here. Super easy to craft those guys up. I highly recommend doing it. But we need to go ahead and get these on the inside there so it isolates from it. Doesn't allow it. Uh, this will prevent it from connecting so that uh, this, this around here is a channel and then the pipe going up the middle is a separate like a, a channel entirely so they won't interfere and cause problems and those it'll still work which is good so um but yeah now we can see all of that is in there which is good okay i believe that is everything that we need we might have to come back up we can grab the game boy and head on into our first our first one where we're going to be putting our gold bees all right we're here that was easy so let's see so here's the center. Okay. Hmm. I think these are going to have to be in the corners. Because that's where we spawn in. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're not going to be able to... It, it's a little bit smaller than I was hoping. Unfortunately, the space in here. Because I do have... Yes, here's our gold bees. Here is our expansion. And so we're actually just going to do glass on both corners here. Oh, that's fun. It forgot I have experience. <laughs> it's not even centered. It's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna break these two. I'm gonna put the oak expansion box in first. Oh, those are both beehives. That's what I need. I don't need you. Okay. Oh shoot, it needs to go up one block. 
because I forgot the floor needs to be gold. Okay, so now we can temporarily put those here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put these here because I don't have any other. Come on. Thanks. Okay, so beehive in the expansion box. There we go. Yep, there we go. Our gold bees are out. They're chilling like a villain, which is good. Okay, so now that's been taken care of. We can go ahead and put that there. I'm going to go ahead and break this. And then the reason why we had to do that is because we have to process those things. Um, where's the centrifuge? Really? Okay, so centrifuge is here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the combs right out the back. There we go. Yep, they're going in. Perfect. And I'm thinking maybe go ahead and put this in there, the link card. Like this maybe, and then output. Oh, wait. <coughs> okay, so we set that to pull out power. And now, yep, this is definitely working. Amazing. Okay, so now we take the items out of there and um, we put them in here, unfortunately. We have to do that. I mean, normally we just push this through if it couldn't smelt it. Let's see what happens. It does. Yay. Amazing. Okay. And I need the chests now okay so we pull the items out of here and we put them there uh, before we do that though let's make it ours beautiful and as soon as we do this yep there we go those are getting put away beautiful and then we can actually um, do some cool stuff uh, yeah Gold has been automated. We need to we need to have somewhere for the wax to go. I want to go ahead and put a couple of upgrades on that drawer. Um, yep, there it is. And if we see here, yes. Okay, so the wax will go right there. We have a total of nine. That is fantastic. Still nine. Okay, uh, and then the void upgrades are what we need to put on it. So what I'm actually gonna do is put a emerald, just like one emerald upgrade on it. That way we can have a decent amount of wax if we ever need it. Uh, but then I'm gonna go ahead, head back to the house. And here we'll make the void uh, upgrade. And so when that gets put in, and so then when it goes here, you know, once it says, hey, I can see all of that, after it fills up to a certain amount, it'll just start to void all of the extra stuff. And then we go like this, and we're good. There we go. So now it will put that in there whenever it can. Amazing. So cool. Okay, so I went ahead and also moved the iron bees into here. And this is the setup that we have. I, I, I can't fly right now because it's being dumb. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you look back there, same exact setup on both sides, how we were doing. Uh, I just routed the cable down, around, and back behind. So now it's pulling out of here. And it does get a little wonky if you try to pull out on both sides. But I found that if you pull out just on... The one side here, uh, it does just fine. And everything's working like a dream. So we're going to go ahead and start adding in these upgrades here that will make this whole process a lot faster. We're going to max them out, and then we're going to have a good time. But I actually have to use the Game Boy. Oh. All right, guys. So I added in coal bees and redstone bees. So these are all being automated now. Uh, we don't have to do anything 
And I have gone ahead and chunk loaded this as well. So that's super cool. Uh, yeah, redstone bees are here. I do have a, quite a few of the upgrades, but not all of them are in. I think all of these are missing one, but I do actually want to go ahead and create the speed upgrade. No, the productivity upgrade. Yes, this one here. Uh, this requires two... This requires two of the draconic chunks here, and if you look, we get those from the draconic dust, which comes from the draconic combs, which comes from the draconic bees. So we do have to go ahead and um, we will have to get those guys, uh, but I probably will go ahead. I keep saying that, don't I? I'm, I'm going to also build on top here because we do have enough room to basically do another one of these here, but I'm also going to rotate it. So then this will be where the three is. So yeah, it'll look a lot better and we might make it flush or like an elevator here that you jump up to. I don't know quite yet. could be fun, uh, but I'm probably do that off camera. But yes, the B part of this is kind of done. We're going to go ahead and do something else. Okay, so now for the step that we need to do now, we need to breed these two bees together and we need some flowers to do so as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some here. Okay, so I believe if we just breed these two guys together, maybe. Um, let's see, what was this holding out? There's one of the end one of the end flowers so that's all we need to do is find an end flower i'm pretty sure i grabbed a couple of those what were what were the oh we need draconium dust okay um hmm. okay i think we need to go ahead and combine our dragon egg with the beehive where did our dragon egg go is it still in here uh we defeated the dragon and got an egg I remember this. I haven't used it for anything. Why isn't it here? All right, found the egg here. Um, all right, so I was able to find the dragon egg here. All we gotta do is just combine those together and we're gonna go ahead and utilize one of the um, already chambers we have built for the other bees. So I'm going to go ahead, throw this hive in here. I think we'll just utilize this one. What do the draconic bees need? Um, let's have a look here. What do they fertilize? Dragon egg. Okay, so I think we need to go ahead and re-challenge the ender dragon real quick, because I've only got one egg here. Um, but the cool thing is we have this sword and creative flight. Oh, um, there we go. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Oh, it, it doesn't need that. Okay. So we can go ahead and re-challenge it a few times. I'm going to go ahead and run to the end right now and we'll fight him. Okay, so this is actually working out pretty good. Uh, so I did go ahead and drop the, the egg one block. Uh, and we have quite a few of the draconic dust, which we can use to breed up the bees. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Okay. So they're still over chilling in our temporary bee breeding area. Um... That guy's ready. That guy's ready. And vibranium, vibranium, vibranium. That's what I'm talking about. I cannot make this guy grow up. Okay. So I do have my vibranium bee. 
Very good. Once this gets bred up, we're going to go ahead and um, breed all the modium and all the, the stuffium. I ran out of the words. All right, there's our guy. We're going to go ahead and grab him real quick. All right, I did go ahead and breed up a second one just so we could, I guess. Um, but now we're going to go... Uh, we need some... I think we need four vibranium. Yep, we need four vibranium. And then our unobtainium, I believe, is up at the base. The sky base. Yeah, it's up at the sky base. Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead... And breed up our bees. So these guys are both adults, and this will be um, unobtainium bees. Yeah. So here you are. Here you are. Okay. So vibranium should be this guy. I'm pretty sure I just got that backwards. I feel dumb. It's a good thing I got more. <laughs> Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so... Um... Yes. I don't know. Move, Draconic Bee. If we go here, four vibranium ingots. Okay. Apparently, they need five. Unobtainium B. Holy crap. There it is. Unobtainium can now be automated. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is crazy, dudes. Oh man, we even have an unobtainium block. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy where the um iron bees were so i need to go ahead and make one more advanced oak beehive we'll put the unobtainium block there very good oh man and then i just get to go afk for a very long time and we get all of the stuff and things okay so expansion box eventually we'll need that and then this guy here advanced oak behave we need some shurs all right Oh my gosh. Um res P. Res P. Yeah, okay. So that's all it needs, just a normal advanced oak behave. Advanced oak behave. Okay. So there we go. Expansion box here. Uh don't have any of that glass, but I do want to go ahead and disconnect these real quick. All right, yeah, because don't need those. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy in here. That's unobtainium. Boop. And there we go. He is in. He is dancing around town. It looks like Thanos. This is the Thanos beat. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. It has been a fun episode. We just automated Unobtainium. We have also moved a bunch of bees up into our base. It's going to be great. We got more of that to do. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next episode. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.